Good evening, everyone. I'm Katie Moore and I'm Sharice Gibson. It has been four days since Laura made landfall on the southwest Louisiana coast, and we are still getting more video of damage that was left behind. At this time, 15 people are now dead because of the storm. Thousands of people are homeless and more than 324,000 are without power. According to Governor John Bell Edwards, those in the Lake Charles area could be without power for three weeks. In the aftermath of Laura, a number of senior citizens are finally under shelter after being found in a public housing complex for people 65 years and older in Lake Charles. Volunteers from several different organizations offered to take the residents from Lake Charles to Metairie, where several are now seeking medical attention. Everybody's okay, but tonight, as Paul Dudley reports, it was a long, complicated ordeal. After Laura made landfall, more than a dozen seniors were found at the Golden Arms Public Housing back, Complex sir. in Lake Charles. When James Lee with a relief group called Arrow Bridge got there, he was told by residents that management at the complex said a bus was coming to evacuate people. The bus did come and picked up half of the people. They said they'd be back and they never came back. It's hot, it's muggy, um, senior citizens are overheating. They have no power, they haven't showered in days. For those left behind, there was no food, running water, or electricity. A difficult situation for all residents, including a double amputee sitting in 100 degree weather. He was in his apartment, had been there, uh, sitting in his motorized wheelchair, which didn't have any uh, battery power left. Lee and other volunteer groups worked to get the residents food and water. He was eventually told that people wanting to leave should go to the airport in Lake Charles. When we got to the airport, the security contingent that was there told us that the busing contingent uh, wasn't there. Fearful that some of these seniors wouldn't make it through another night, Lee and volunteers from the group Crowdsource Rescue offered to drive the seniors from Lake Charles to here in Metairie. From here, three of the residents ended up in hotels, the others ended up in the hospital or at the medical special needs shelter in Gonzales. It is our solemn duty. If we can help, we should. Lee is thankful everyone is alive, but wonders how these seniors could have been left behind. Your question, highly question, uh, the decision of the management of that place to leave before knowing that all of their residents were taken care of. Paul Dudley, Eyewitness News.